everybody. I just came in from planting lots and lots of potatoes. I planted five rows of Yukon Gold and of the red potatoes. And I planted about five 45 foot rows today. So I have a lot more planting to do. But I thought I would step inside the canning garage and read you Grandma's diary. This is from Grandma's Diary, April 24th, 1942. Today, Anna Mae was house cleaning for Simons. I sowed parsnips, salisbury, and beet seeds. School is over. So, I'm going to go out and finish planting some of my potatoes, and I really want to get some of my spinach planted. You're going to see some upcoming videos of me planting my garden. Now, for those of you new to my channel, I have a large garden. But today's video is going to be making toilet fizzies. This is something we made last year, and it was such a success on YouTube and with us at home that we make it often. And I thought I would share with you a newer video of us making that. So today's video is the girls making toilet fizzies. Now, these toilet fizzies are all organic, and you can actually use them for many things other than for cleaning the toilet. In fact, I use it in a hot bucket of water, and I use it to clean my stainless steel sink. I use it to clean my refrigerator on the outside. It is amazing. So I hope you enjoy this video, and I can't wait to see you guys tomorrow for Crock-Pot Wednesday. And yes, we are having a meal on Wednesday. So take care, everyone, and I hope you enjoy this video. And welcome to Homestead Tessie. Today I have my two lovely daughters, and we're going to make bathtub toilet fizzies. So, girls, this is what we're going to do. We're going to take two cups of baking soda, and we're going to put that in our big bowl. As you all remember that Michelle and I did this last year, and this year we have Misty with us. Misty is my oldest daughter. So, yep, we're going to put one in, and we're going to put two of the baking soda. It's just really simple. It only takes a few minutes to make. All right, and to that, we're going to add one scoop of the citric acid, and that is two-thirds cup. Even though mine's not two-thirds, we're going to go with the half. Perfect. Now make sure you get the citric acid, and I'll show you what it looks like at the end. Then, Michelle, you want to go and... Do we put the essential oils first or do we do the water first? I think we do the uh, oils. Okay, first. so she decided to use orange, orange and lemon. And lemon. So she's going to do about what, 20 of each? 10 of each? You can do, the, do about 20 orange. Let's so they're both going to put the essential oils in. What this is, is one tablet can go in your toilet and you can use it yeah, as a toilet cleaner. It's amazing. It's also all natural and there's no byproducts in it. So we're going to take a squirt bottle this with water. This part's a little bit funny. And I, we just start doing a little at a time. Do we need a spoon? Or, we don't do anything, do we? Um, I think, do we mix it maybe? I believe we do mix it. Okay, let me go get our wooden spoon. So she's going to keep stirring that. I mean, she's going to keep putting that in. And then we're going to take a wooden spoon. You just mix it a little bit. And we're going to mix it. And it doesn't take a lot of water that we learned, we realized. So we're going to keep doing this, and we'll get back to you when it's the right consistency. For those of you who are not sure, this is what citric acid is. This one is organic, non-GMO. This is actually something that you use in tomatoes to give them more acid for canning. You can use it for all sorts of things. So what we do is we use it for our fizzies. So now what the girls are doing is they're just packing these nice little cubes that was given to me by a friend here back in Christmas time. Uh, the essential oils we used for, once again, was lemongrass, and it was orange. So, now they're packing them full, and you're going to wait 24 hours, and then they pop right out of the little um, mold that they're in, and we will put them in jars. So, I'm going to pan the camera down at their hands, so you can see exactly what they're doing. So, they're packing them in just like that. And one of them, maybe once a week, is great. So one batch will make about one tray. So 
there you go, everyone, and we'll get back to you. I'll get back to you in 24 hours and show you what it looks like when we're done. And they turned out perfect. So I'm going to show you what they look like. We just pop them right out of their trays. They are hard like that. They smell so good of lemon and orange. So we plop them right into our glass container. Now you can either break these in half or you can use one whole cube to clean your toilet. So once a week, I will use one of these. This is safe for your plumbing. It's safe for your septic system because it's all natural ingredients. So you're not having any harsh chemicals. There's no byproducts. And you will be amazed how gleaming your toilet will look. Not only are these fizzies great for your toilet, they're also great for cleaning stainless steel. They will make stainless steel look like brand new. So, fill a kettle, fill a dish, fill a dish pan with some hot water, put one of these in, and you can wash down your stainless steel kitchen sink. So much fun. It fills a whole big container just like this. There you go. What a beautiful glass container full of something all natural and it works perfect. So my friends, I hope you give Toilet Fizzies a try and tell me what you think of it. It's a really fun project and it's got a lot of return because it works perfect and amazing. Take care, everyone, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. I just want to say thank you so much for watching my videos. If you like this video, could you do me a favor? Could you share it? Thanks again, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.